The remaining five percent is just because so that it look like I mean I'm putting in my input. Do you understand? But guess what? Even if I'm using AI, everything that comes out still requires my intelligence. I am the one that is going to say, okay, let's say for example, the basic one I use AI for, which is to reply emails. I just feel like it, it, it will compose it better, right? So why waste my time to think of something? But now when it comes to the creative aspect of my work, which is if a brand reaches out to me to want to do a video, right? I need to come up with the idea. The idea is not AI. There's no how I would give AI my brief, a client's brief, that will come up with something brilliant. Because guess what? If I give a client's brief to AI and tell AI that, okay, AI, let me come up with a creative idea. If you give the same prompt to AI, if everybody in this room gives the same prompt, guess what will happen? It will give us the same answer, right? So we still need you. See, I, I feel like at the end of the day, humans are still needed. Yes, there's a fear that AI will take over entry-level jobs. But that's, that should be a challenge to us as humans. We need to look at it and say, okay, it means that this level that I am on, I need to upskill fast. If I'm on, on, I'm, if I'm on an entry-level job skill, then I need to look for a way to better my skill, learn something that is more advanced, rather than being scared of it. 